Hey you guys, this is Nathan. I am your photo editing help. Today showing you a Photoscape X tutorial. They have tutorials in the software that you're able to learn from, but there's no audio to go along with showing you how to use these tools. So I wanted to show you today one of my favorite photo editing tools, which is the Spot Healing tool. There's many different names for it. But right now I'm going to show you what I did to change this photo, which has two birds in it, you know, one off to the right hand side, to this photo that does not have a bird on the right hand side at all. And the way you do that is you just go into the editor here, go over all the way to the far right and click on tools. Then go to spot healing brush. And in that spot healing brush, you're able to click on an area and continue to select as much as you want. And the photo editing software will do its best to remove what it thinks that you are selecting. So I'm zooming in here and I'm going to select the eye of this bird. And the photo editing software should most likely remove the eye of the bird. This is, of course, just for an example, and there it is. We can compare it to the original, to what it did with the spot healing. And the way it does this is it looks at the area that you've selected and the surrounding area as well, trying to guess what you are trying to remove. So if there is an object that's in the middle or somewhere around where you've selected, it's going to see it as this is what's different and we want to remove that and make it all normal. So in this case, I'm going to, and I can of course adjust the size of the brush from small to large. So I'm going to make it pretty large and I'm going to select the entire bird. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see how it looks for the entire image. But all I do is I click and I select the entire bird. I don't have to be super precise. You guys can play around with this a lot and it's just something where it's trial and error and remembering your favorite key, which is undo if something doesn't look right at the end. So I'm going to let go. And it's as simple as clicking, letting go, let the software think for a second, and there you go. This bird is gone. And maybe there's some imperfections that you might need to blur using the brush blur tool. Or you may have to do some more clicks around here with this spot healing tool to remove some of the different places where it just doesn't look as natural. But what you're going for is as natural as possible. So if Later on in this photo, you realize, hey, this interesting like purple flare that's happening over here on the left side of the bird, I don't want that. You can go in and you can remove that and you can just try to like, oh, maybe I need to drag a whole area or maybe I need to just do a lot of different clicks. But really, it's something that you learn with time and it's just helpful to begin thinking about that with your photos. So to do that, I want to show you guys a few more photos. I'm going to close out of this. I'm not going to save it because I already have my finished product. I'm going to go back to the viewer and we're going to see what other photos I have. So I have this fully edited photo, which is up on my Instagram. If you guys want to follow me there, that'd be great. I post a bunch of different edits to photos that I've taken or I've had uh, sent to me to have reviewed. But uh, here's another photo. This is just a pen video that, uh, that I made a while back. This was an uh, Instagram post or a thumbnail for it. And what I'm going to do in here is one, I can click the spot healing brush again. And I can actually go in and I think I should be able to just remove one pen. And in this case, it was looking around and it saw the other pen next to it. So it copied the other pen or parts of the other pen over. Uh, so I might have to, you know, zoom in and do something a little bit more detailed. So maybe a smaller brush. Maybe sometimes it's helpful to just take it like half of the length at a time. And other times it's just like you got to click it a few extra times. It's just decided to be silly because there's something else that's near it. This is kind of what you run into when there's these different issues. Uh, but nonetheless, if you take your time, you can get it to work at the um, if you're patient with it. Uh, so let's just say I want to remove all these other side um, pens. So I just go in, I'm doing this really quick, all this stuff, hit the heel, uh, and there you go. 
all those pens are removed and you're just left with that. But what the one thing that's also kind of interesting is there's a compare tool, uh, a compare button and an original button. And what you're able to do is go back to the original and see the differences that you've made. Another thing I want to tell you guys is removing text sometimes can be super helpful. So like let's say this uh, 07 at the end, which is talking about the millimeter size of the pen. Uh, that's unnecessary if you were, let's say, oh, I didn't need that. You can go and you can try to remove the entire um, the entire lettering, the wording, and things like that. And what it's doing is still trying to figure out what you're trying to remove. And if you're careful with it, you can usually remove a lot of different text that just ends up being unwanted. And that's how you're able to remove different things in a photo that you don't want. And of course, obviously, looking at some of these other tools in here will be helpful as well, like that blur tool. So uh, that's removing some different objects in this photo. I'm going to hit no to save because I already have that photo edited. Another thing you could do is memes. Let's say there's a meme and you're like, oh, I want to change up a word and you can't find like the original photo or something. You can remove wording as well. Sometimes it can be challenging, but it's something where you just continuously, you know, try and see if you can do it. And you'll kind of get in your mind, what are some of the limitations of this? So let's say I was going to remove this folders. This is a meme that I threw in my last video just because sometimes I do a terrible job at organizing my different photos into all these different folders. Let's see if I got that. Oh no, I did a remove stain tool. Uh, that's a different tool. And uh, obviously there wasn't a mole in there. So this is spot healing tool. Uh, let's go into this. Selecting the entire word might not be the best way of doing it. But actually, hey, it turned out okay. And there's some different things where maybe it's not the best or maybe it doesn't look super professional. But the thing is, you're not looking for professional. This is a free editing software that I think works extremely well. And in a lot of cases, ends up making it look just as good as Photoshop. Or at least it looks like a quick edit in Photoshop. Here's one more just to give you another idea. Here is a photo of my wedding. And what I could do in this photo is I could remove uh, the flower that's on, that's pinned on me. I can remove that by going to the spot healing brush and I can remove it. Uh, my mom actually made uh, this flower thing for me and I thought it looked pretty nice. Uh, but nonetheless, let's say you want to remove it for whatever reason. Uh, let's see, got a little purple going on here. And you know, you can zoom in, you can see me, oh, I have a couple extra wrinkles on my shirt now or something. But you can go from this flower to nothing, flower to nothing. And that's what the spot healing brush can do. It helps you to just have so much more manipulation over your photos. Um, and there's all sorts of other things in here. There's like liquify, where you're able to like super manipulate the photo and make it look absolutely insane. Uh, there's other tools. One of the ones that I was talking about was using this uh, brush tool. Uh, not this, uh, well, it's a brush tool, yes. Uh, in tools, there's a, a blur brush that you're able to do, and you're able to go and like blur. So if you wanted to, say my shirt still has too many wrinkles, I can go in and blur that, and I can make it less noticeable that I made that change. Sometimes you have to mess around with like the hardness or the brush size or things like that. But usually you can make it a whole lot better. And just remember that most people aren't like looking super closely into your photos to see like, oh, did he remove an it part of the image? Usually it's unnoticeable. And also it's able to uh, just enhance your photos in a way that it removes what's unnecessary, like words or even different people. Uh, but all those different things can be achieved using the photo uh, using Photoscape X and also using that heal uh, tool, this clone, the spot heal tool. So you guys, hopefully this video was helpful to kind of walk through some of the different photos, some of the different ways you can edit uh, out different things that weren't necessary. And I hope you guys stick around for more photo editing uh, tutorials in the future. And let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. God bless.